I would like to introduce you all to a very special member of my family. This is Cherry. Isn't it beautiful? It's so cute. I love it. Hey everybody, welcome to my review of the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 with the bandolier in the Empreinte leather. Oh god, it's a nice red, isn't it? This is the cherry red color, and I think, I'm pretty sure this is from the 2017 collection. I got cherry from Fashion File, and she was pre-loved, obviously, but I don't think the owner ever used this bag because you can't even, when I got this bag, I could barely tell that it had been used. I think even on the bottom suit so was pretty, it was virtually brand new. It just didn't come with a box or a bag, basically. It came with its dust bag. But my uh, experience with Fashion File when I bought this bag was fantastic. I think I got this in 2021. Mm. But anyway, so this is the 25 size. And I'm pretty sure you can still get this bag on Fashion File or Vestiaire Collective, anywhere else pre-loved. You can still buy these bags. So I thought I would do a review just in case you're like me and you're thinking of buying one pre-loved. So let's do a really quick overview of this bag. It's got a front pocket here, which almost goes to the edges, but I put my iPhone in here, my iPhone 14 Pro Max, the biggest one, and that fits in here perfectly. It does stick out the top if you put it in uh, upright, but it fits in that way perfectly. There is no pocket on the back, but it looks like there is, so it just matches. It doesn't have feet, but there is the seam at the bottom. And I have the lock that comes with it just sitting on the back. It hasn't been scratched and it's been on there since I got the bag. So it's one of the more shinier locks. It's better than the lock that you get with a speedy, normal monogram speedy anyway. So. And actually a nice little detail on the side of the D-rings is a little Louis Vuitton engraved. So I've got Louis Vuitton up the top. This is the zip, zip like so. Now the best part about this bag and the reason that I decided to get a leather one instead, one of, one of a few reasons I decided to get the full leather instead of a monogram is because the zip goes all the way down to the sides whereas in a normal like a original monogram bag I'll show you in a second the zip stops here so I get a bit more opening out of this bag which is for this size is a bonus because when you compare it to the monogram in the 25 it's very or the, any any of the canvas 25s it's very sort of it's hard to get things in you have to sort of angle them in which to me is a bit of a pain like don't slow me down help me out it does come obviously with bandolier which i might add is a very long bandolier and this is on the shortest hole so you know i'm tall i'm 5'10 and this is like if you like to leave it like that it's just a very long very long strap. I also have a pochette batiste from Louis Vuitton just so you can see the difference in size because I think this one's pretty much the same lengthways but it's very much different. So I just wanted to show you how similar they are in height and length. I can get a lot in this bag. It fits heaps in it but it's very hard to get something in that's sort of bigger than a compartment. So that's why I needed to, decided I needed to buy a similar size bag, but that's a bit bigger. Venga, que el, que el, que el tiempo ahora mismo está cambiando, que tenemos que empezar a valorar el tiempo, como todo cambia de rápido. Así que, que bueno, que básicamente, gracias. All right, I like to carry a water bottle with me, and this fits my water bottle. It's got a lovely red striped interior. This is sort of fabric-y canvas, I don't know. Anyway, it's got a stamp inside and there's the zip pocket and then also on this side it's got two interior pockets which also fit an iPhone. I need to show you what fits in this bag but I think I'll just run quickly through the pros and cons. So one of the pros is it fits a lot 
This is very deceptive. That's pretty deceptive. Oh no, it's very misleading. In terms of how much you can get in this bag. The zip opening is also a pro. Obviously I've gone through the zip opening, but that's a pro. I like the lining because it's easier to see. It's light, it's not dark like the classic canvas style. You can get quite a few of these on the secondhand pre-loved market and I guess that's leads into another pro which is it's a bit cheaper now because I'm not sure if you can still get this style. I don't think you can. Don't quote me on that, I'll have to check. But in Australia I'm pretty sure that you can't buy this style on the website so you can only buy these bags pre-loved. Cons. The strap is really long. I've gone through that but I'll show you. It's not really long, like, I mean, I think it's long because if you want to crossbody it, it's not like sitting up here around your belly button. But if I'm carrying this with the strap on, I tend to loop it around the handle like that. If it's sort of flapping into my clothes when I'm kind of going from here to there. So I don't, I don't actually mind it like that, but some people that might bug them so you know that could be a con oh i forgot to show you the little key cloche bell thing so there is a key in there see keys i really do love the on prawn style actually i love it one of the other pros for the leather is that it doesn't really show wear and tear as much to me. So I've had a lot of monogram canvas bags. There's one just there. Um, there's one there. <laughs> there's two here. So I've got heaps of monogram canvas bags. And one thing that if you've had them before or you've seen any videos about them or you've spoken to anybody is if they have the calfskin light colored leather on them, they can potentially show age quite easily. And this doesn't. So the handles won't go dark. The leather is easy to clean. There's no uh, patina going on. So I don't have to worry about getting rain spots on this before it patinas properly. Like it's just very easy. I use this in the rain in winter. If, if it's raining or it looks like it's raining, I don't use this bag because of this. Because I've had a, a rain damage done to one of my other bags that has the calf skin on it and just really bugged me because it was on the top. It was really obvious. So that's probably the only reason I don't reach for that bag when it's winter or raining. Anyway, the con for this bag, if it's available from Louis Vuitton or it comes back, is it would be pricier, more expensive than the canvas option. Obviously because it's all leather and the canvas is like tiny bits of leather on the handles, trims and straps. So the fact that this is entirely leather makes it a little bit more expensive. So I guess there's that. <laughs> and then I think, I guess a con is if you really want a color like this, particularly this red shade, it's a seasonal color. So it's not always available. You might have to wait a few years for it to come back or buy it pre-loved. That is the Overview, pros and cons, la la la, blah blah blah. All that's left to do is show you what fits inside and show you a comparison. This is my mum's Speedy 30. I think they're beautiful, I really do. Like I, I used to have the Speedy 30 without the bandolier. It wasn't available when I got mine. You couldn't buy it. Even though I would, would have loved a strap, I used mine to death. I did take good care of it. Then I ended up selling it, which I really do regret. It was under a thousand dollars when I got my Speedy. And now they're, what are they, like two plus? Anyway, <laughs> this is mum's 30 bandolier. And I think she's had this 12 months, maybe 18. I'm not sure. Uh, it was purchased in Sydney, Bondi Junction. Not that that's really that important, but so here is a side by side of 25 and a 30 I guess there we go and side by side bottom oh this is going to be hard because this has got stuff in it maybe I should empty it okay bottom <sighs> you know what I think the handle drop is bigger on my bag 
so yeah so the handle on this one has a bit more space isn't that interesting i had no idea like quickly overviewing a canvas version it's got an it's now got a zip but this used to be open and never used to have a zip in it so this has got a zip pocket it's like a one that they have in the key balls and then it's got the d-ring just like the key ball on the inside just here it does come with a lock my mum doesn't keep her lock on her bag just to show you the potential damage i was talking about that's mum's back of her bag on the patina rain damage so she obviously doesn't care too greatly maybe i'll take stuff out she's got some shit in here sorry mum if you're watching you really need to clean out your bag god's sake it's a bit like a mary poppins bag when you go to open it to put stuff inside this is the opening you get not a lot Let's see if i can show you the difference all right opening here opening there see the difference look how much space i can how much like wiggle room i have and this is in a smaller size bag so you can imagine the 25 in the canvas and how much smaller i'll show you what it could be like i'll pick this up it would be kind of like if you had a 25 canvas 30 25 i'm not doing a very good job sorry okay let's do a what fits <sighs> fluffy <laughs> i might actually start off with an ipad so i've got a ipad air but i've also got this giant heavy the magsafe no whatever this is called the smart keyboard so magic keyboard that fits in if there's not a lot in here i can zip this up as you can see all right but if it's super full you won't zip it up it'll just sort of poke out the top and you could probably put stuff in either side otherwise if you take out the case if you have just a normal it's one of those magnetic cases and you don't have one of these oh that's good my cat's using the litter box if you're just putting an ipad in like that pretend it's got a case on it there's a bit more space all right so that fits in quite easily so now i've got my desk agenda from Louis Vuitton this is like a GM size I guess it's the same size as the GM agenda with the clip on the side so that goes in as well nice and easy getting a bit fuller but it's still fine I don't have a wallet with me but I've got mum's extremely disgracefully aged I'm focusing on the cat oh my god uh this is mum's mini mini monogram sippy how old it is and that fits in got a very annoying that it's focusing on my cat oh what's this called whatever this is called i'll see if i can fit two in I'm getting a bit tight this is full mine's not but i'll use the full one because we are trying to see what we can get in here right that's very full very full indeed the reason i've got a litter box in this room is we've got a 17 year old cat and he gets the run at the house at night so they sleep in here with me so i need a litter box in here for now it's very wouldn't recommend any case, anyway i've got a little time at key clay stop focusing on my cat God, it's really heavy really really heavy but i've still got space Okay, sunglasses case. This is the Woody sunglasses case. Going the top. I actually could fit a umbrella in here. So these ca okay, I think that's full enough. Right, this <laughs> this is full to the brim, and it's really heavy. Like you wouldn't put this on your shoulders because it's wow. Oh, this is a con. This happens all the time. It's really annoying. I need to get one of those little clear hairbands to keep this in this point it just sort of when it's down here it kind of flaps about like that that's very yeah let's zip it up don't want to ruin my bag <sighs> okay this is bursting 
bursting at the seams. It's nearly, I need to like stop this. But that's, that's a sh load. One more thing just to show you, this is my awesome drink bottle. That's, I love dearly. Stop focusing on my cat. <laughs> this is my drink bottle. Uh, links in the description down below. This is a 500 ml bottle, fits perfectly inside. You can stand it up as well, but you wouldn't want much else in here. It sort of just hits the top. But if you've got anything a little bit like less high, definitely fit the drink bottle so easily, which is why I got this bag. Okay, let's put this in here. I'll just show you what it looks like without the strap. I usually just put it in the bottom of the bag if I'm not using the strap. Let me know if you've got one of these bags or if you prefer this style to the original Speedy style or anything else. What do you think of the colour? Isn't it beautiful? If I've missed anything, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll put anything in this description if I've missed anything, but I'm pretty sure that's my review done for the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 bandolier in the on prot leather in cherry. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Please check out my playlist for my other reviews and my luxury bag and SLG collection. I will leave a link on the screen and up in the corner and down below for those. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.